Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the nodal analysis. This nodal analysis is used to find out the node voltages and the current passing by if you know the node voltages we can find the current passing through the each and every resistor and we can also find out the voltage across the each and every resistor that we will find out by using if you know the nodal analysis method okay if we apply the nodal analysis we need to apply the kcl plus ohms law okay in the nodal analysis we use kcl as well as the ohms law then we will get the unknown voltages if we take one circuit, this is the one sample circuit, which is consist of there are three resistors R1, R2, R3 are meeting at one point. This is called as node. And there are two voltage sources, V1 and V2 are the two voltage sources. This node analysis based on the number of unknown nodes. Okay, we will apply the KCL at this particular node. Okay, if we take the mesh analysis, the mesh analysis based on the number of loops. But if it as it is a nodal analysis, this nodal analysis is based on the number of nodes. So if we apply the nodal analysis to this circuit, so these are the steps we have to follow. So first identify the unknown voltage. The, assume that VA is the unknown node voltage. And zero volts is the ground voltages. And I am assuming that I1, I2, I3 are the currents are leaving from this node. We can take the directions our wish. Okay, if, if you want to take I1 is entering and I2 and I3 are leaving and all the currents are entering, that is your wish. Okay, but based on the direction only, we will write the equation. Okay, here I, I1 is a current passing through the R1 resistor and I2 is a current passing through the I2 resistor, uh, R2 resistor and uh, I3 is a current passing through the R3 resistor. These are the three currents are leaving from this node. Okay, what is the first step? The first step is apply KCL at the node voltage. Node voltage is what? Apply KCL at this node VA. If we apply the KCL, what are the currents are entering into the node? There are no currents are entering. All the currents are entering. So here entering currents is equal to the leaving currents. Entering currents are zero. So leaving currents are I1 plus I2 plus I3. These are the leaving currents. Next step we have to follow is assume VA, I am assuming that VA is greater than V1. Okay, whatever the value is there, VA, node voltage, that is greater than V1. And VA is also greater than V2. And VA is also greater than 0 volts. These are the three assumptions I am assuming that. By using these assumptions, I will write the uh, equation here. Now, this is the equation for the KCL. Now, I will apply the Ohm's law. If you apply Ohm's law, what is the... A formula for I according to Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. So here, if we apply the Ohm's law here, I1 is equal to, it is in the form of voltage by resistance. I is equal to V by R. But this resistor is a combination of two voltages, VA and V1. As the current is flowing from plus 2 minus, the, see the direction of the current is from plus 2 minus. So we are taking VA minus V1 divided by R1. This is the potential difference between the two voltages here. VA minus V1 divided by R1. As the current is from in, coming from plus 2 minus, so VA minus V1 by R1. Okay. Uh, why we are taking VA is positive? Because we are assuming here VA is greater than V1. By taking these assumptions, I am writing this equation. Next, if we write the R uh, in place of I2, I am substituting VA minus 0 by R2, VA minus 0 by R2. Plus, next, I am applying the I3 value here. VA minus V2 plus 2 minus is minus V2 divided by R2. VA minus V2 divided by R3. Okay, like this, we will write the uh, KCL okay, in the nodal equation. If we apply the KCL at node, these are the equations we will get. After getting these equations, we will find out the VA value. Okay, after finding the VA value, node unknown node voltages, unknown node voltage after finding the VA, uh, we can find out the I1 value and I2 value, I3 value. Now, let's say how by taking one example problem, okay, how we will apply the KCL and how we will find out the unknown voltage VA and after finding the VA, how we will find out the I1 value, I2 value, I3 value that we will see. Okay, let's take one problem. Okay, this is the one sample circuit which is consist of three resistors, 2 ohm, 3 ohm and 4 ohm resistors. 
and there are two voltage sources the voltage sources values are 10 volts is a v1 and v2 is 15 volts now for this circuit i am applying the nodal analysis here so what is what is the first step assume the directions i am assuming that all the currents are leaving okay and va is a node voltage and zero volts is the ground voltage now if we apply the kcl at node va we will get some of the currents entering is equal to zero and some of the currents leaving are the current passing through this two ohm is va minus zero va plus two minus minus 10 divided by two plus VA minus 0 by 3. VA minus 0 by 3. Plus, and the last current is VA plus 2 minus minus 15 divided by 4. Okay, like this, we will write the KCL equation at node VA. Okay, so this is about the writing the uh, KCL for this particular problem. Now, if we simplify this, we will get 13 into VA is equal to 105, we will get. From this VA is equal to, we will get 8.07 volts. This is the node voltage VA is equal to 8.07 volts. Now, we have to calculate the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor and the current passing through the 3 ohm resistor and the current passing through the 4 ohm resistor. In the exam, they will ask you, find the current passing through the any other resistor. Suppose if the question is find the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor, they will not ask you the method name. They will not ask you find the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor by using mesh analysis or nodal analysis that they will not ask. Just they will ask find the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor is the question. If the question is like that, you can use mesh analysis or monodal analysis. That is your wish. Okay. But if they mention the method name, Okay, solve the circuit, find the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor by using the nodal analysis. If they mention like that, you have to find out, you have to solve that particular uh, problem by using that particular method only. If they don't ask a method name, you can use nodal analysis or mesh analysis, your wish. The same problem, we can, uh, the current passing through 2 ohm resistor, if the question, the same problem, the same question we can find out by using mesh analysis and nodal analysis. Now, we are using the node by using nodal analysis. Now, we will find out how we will find the current passing through the each and every resistor. So, for the given problem, VA, unknown voltage, that is a node voltage, is equal to 8.07 volts we got. Okay, to find out the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor, what is the formula? VA, VA minus 10 by 2. VA minus 10 by 2. What is the VA value we got? 8.07 minus 10 divided by 2. If you simplify this, we will get minus 0 0.9, 0 0.965 amperes. This is the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor answer. Now, if we find the current passing through the 3 ohm resistor, what is the formula? VA minus 0 by 3. That is VA minus 0 by 3. This is the formula to find out the current passing through the 3 ohm resistor. VA value we got 8.07 volts minus 0 divided by 3. If we calculate this, we will get 2.69 amperes. Okay. Next, if we find the current passing through the 4 ohm resistor, what is the formula? VA plus 2 minus minus 15 divided by 4. Now, if we substitute this VA value here, 8.07 minus 15 divided by 4. 8.07 minus 15 divided by 4. If we calculate this, we will get minus 1.73 amperes. Like this, we will find out the current passing through the each and every resistor by using nodal analysis. If you know the currents, we can find out the voltage across each and every resistor very easily. What is the voltage across 2 ohm resistor formula? Current passing through the 2 ohm resistor into R, V is equal to I into R. What is the V value here? What is the I value here? V is equal to I into R. What is the I value current passing through 2 ohm resistor is minus 0 0.965 into 2. That is like that we will find out the voltage across 2 ohm resistor. Suppose if you want to find out the voltage across 3 ohm resistor, current passing through the 3 ohm into R. What is the current passing through 3 ohm resistor? 2.69 amperes into 3. Next how we, how we will find out the voltage across 4 ohm resistor I into R. I is minus 1.73 into 4, 4. If you calculate 
like that we will get the voltage across the each and every resistor but this is a procedure to find out the current passing through the each and every resistor by using no nodal analysis if you know the currents we can find out the voltages easily okay so up to now we have seen that how we will apply the nodal equation by using the kcl and after applying the kcl and we have used the ohm's law and after writing the equation we have find the unknown voltage that is the node voltage is VA after finding the node voltages we are finding uh, we have found the uh, current passing through the each and every resistor these are the answers we got by using the nodal equation the same problem if we use the mesh analysis we can get the same answers only okay this is about the nodal analysis in the next class we will discuss some more problems based on the nodal analysis